Hello, Polly's the best for UK here, and welcome to tonight's game of day or game of night video. Every day at 6 p.m., a different UK game on the Sega Master System. Now, today's game, I'm going to be looking at Transpot. So, uh, let's start the game. So, you can see it's 1986, so it's one of the earlier titles, and this is Transpot right now. So, you can have two players, but I'm just going to have the one player. Now, as you can see, it's a uh, horizontal shooter. And you are this spaceship. And basically it's a side scrolling shoot em up, yep. So uh, yeah, it's got a nice little bit of parallax scrolling going right here, which is quite impressive considering the year the game was made. So yeah, shoot these waves of baddies. Watch out for these guys, and uh, yeah, we keep going. Music's got okay as well, sound effects do the part. Watch out for these guys, have some of that. Oh, there's these tanks at the bottom as well. Oh, got ya. Yeah. Okay, so you can get these power-ups, just like on most games of this genre. And this uh, letters scroll across at the top of the screen, and you choose, and then, yeah. So you press your button to uh, stop the letter, and it does a different weapon, I think. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Oh, here comes another tank. I'm going to get him again. Right, the letters go across. Try that. And then, as you can see, now I'm like in the jetpack sort of thing. I've changed my, uh, my uh, appearance and stuff. Watch out for these uh, squares right here. Graphics are very nice, like I said, nice bit of parallax squadron going on. Uh, there's no stars in the sky, but uh, still it looks really good. Here comes another one of them tanks. Have some of that. Whoa, so now I've got this like vertical one. You can see the uh, the city coming into view now. Now I'm back onto the spaceship. Watch it. There's loads of baddies out to get me. There's not too much slow down at all, to be honest. Nice little touches with the power like scrolling and the lack of slowdown which makes for a good gaming experience. Oh shit, watch out for these guys right here. And yeah, they keep coming on in, ho in waves. So, oh you fuck! Do I have to start again? Please tell me I don't have to start again. Nah, it looks like I'm starting from where I left off. Play one start and we uh, continue on. Whoa, these ones are quite fast moving ones right here. Oh shit. Green ones now. There's plenty of different variety to the enemies. It's a long level, isn't it? Keep shooting them as they go past. Very fun, very, uh, very f works great, the game does. Plays well. Very responsive to the controls. Nice and fast and smooth. No, hardly any uh, sprite flickering or anything. Well, that's good, because it's quite common for flick, uh, enemies and stuff to flicker on these old 8-bit consoles. Especially on the NES. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's one of them weapons again. Try and get him. I've been here this time, so I've got the uh, freeway again. Does this level ever end? <laughs> or is it just a continuous game? It's quite nice touches that uh, the, the uh, scenery changes every so often, just to give a bit of variety to the appearance of the game. Here's one of them tanks. There we go. Okay, I haven't been this one yet. This one's F, so it shoots backwards and forwards. And yeah. So there we go, there's a trans bot on the uh, Sega Master System. I'm going to give that uh, 9 out of 10 because it's very good. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.